Hey guys, here are quick five questions for AQA Physics Waves. If you want a hard copy of all these questions so we can fill them in as we're going along, you can pop over to my website and get that my free revision guide. And don't forget, subscribe so you don't miss quick five questions and whole topic summaries for all of the other topics. Sketch and label a transverse wave. Transverse waves are the ones that go up and down. From the same point to the same point, whether that's the peak to the peak, the trough to the trough, the middle to the middle, that is the wavelength. The amplitude is measured from the middle to the top. Our direction of energy is this way. However, our direction of oscillation or movement is up and down. In a longitudinal wave, we have areas of compression and areas of refraction. We have the direction of energy going this way and the movement going that way as well. Amplitude is the distance from the middle of a wave to the top or the bottom. Wavelength is the distance between waves. And remember that has to be measured for the same point on each wave. The equation linking time period and frequency is that time period, the sum of the capital T, equals 1 over frequency. The units of time period are second, and the units of frequency are hertz. There is a capital H and a lowercase z. It has to be a capital H and a lowercase z. If it isn't, I'm afraid you're not getting the marks. The equation linking wave speed, frequency, and wavelength is speed equals frequency times wavelength, and wavelength there is lambda. The units for wavelength are meters. The units for wave speed are meters per second. The order of electromagnetic waves, radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible light, ultraviolet light, gamma rays, x-rays. And we have radio waves having a large wavelength, moving down to X-rays having a short wavelength. Radio waves have a low frequency, whereas X-rays have a very high frequency. Radio waves have low energy, and X-rays have very high energy. Radio waves can be used for communication. Microwaves can be used for communication or cooking. Infrared is going to be um, that little red button, the end of your TV remote control. Or it can be used for heat sensing. Visible light is going to be used in cameras and film. Ultraviolet can be used for security purposes, um, for example, on notes. Gamma rays can be used for um, cleaning or treating um, foods and instruments to kill bacteria. Or for cancer treatment.
and x-rays are used for seeing broken bones. When a wave is diffracted, it spreads out. For example, a wave coming through here is going to go through a short, uh, small gap and then spread out like that. When it is refracted, it changes direction. And the reason it changes direction is because the wave is going to be changing speed as it moves from one medium to another medium. Which surfaces absorb radiation? That is going to be dark, matte surfaces, and dark surfaces also emit radiation. With a converging lens, we are going to get a real image, and you're going to use a converging lens if you are long sighted. A diverging lens should be used if you're short sighted, and a diverging lens is going to form a virtual image. Magnification is calculated by looking at the image heights. And dividing that by the object height. And it's a trick question here because there are no units for magnification because it is a ratio. Order of light in the visible spectrum is red, orange, green, blue, indigo, violet. If an object is opaque, it means you can't see through it. If an object is transparent, it means you can see through it. If an object is translucent, you can see um, light but not shapes. It's kind of semi-transparent. When light passes through a filter, certain wavelengths of light are going to be absorbed and not get through to the other side. Sound waves travel in longitudinal waves. The range of human hearing is... 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. A P wave is a primary wave, it's longitudinal. And it's going to be fast and travelling through liquids and solids. An S wave is a secondary wave, it is a transverse wave that goes through solids only.